Today, I want to share you a new career called data analytics, especially for those of you who are planning to become a data analyst. This course is for you. USAM will empower you with the skills and knowledge to make informed decisions for any organization that you are working with. A brief about who I am. My name is Femi Adebite or Adegbite, if you, whichever you want to go about it. I worked in the IT industry for 11 years. Presently, I'm a lecturer for over 13 years, specializing in Python, network security, and cyber security. I'm an associate specialist for Cisco and Computer in data analytics, cyber security, networking, Presently, I work for various exam board within the United Kingdom. So I have a broad overview in terms of industry experiencing and your academic environment in order for me to be able to help you. If you are interested, please use some. You can see the website below or the email there if you're interested in any of this area of course to develop your potential. Today, my focus will be an introductory part into what a data analytics is all about. And I'm going to be talking about what, who is a data analyst and their role, the type of data analysis process that you need to know to become a data analyst, what skills and knowledge that you need to get, and how potential employers can find you. In today's world, as many of you know, everything is about putting yourself in the right place. So I will teach you how to do that if you enroll with USAM. So first of all, who is a data analyst? A data analyst analyzes data to help businesses and other organizations make informed decision. So in making decision, you have to be working for a different organization. And many organizations that uses these advanced analytics skills to improve their business are one banking. Such a way it helps them to identify fraudulent activities. Two, manufacturing, where they're able to monitor defect reports and production processes. Three, in terms of retails, responding to customers' review and adjusting their product and sales. And also, in every public organization or private organization, you can also use your role as a data analysis to able to give some informed decision to the corporate organization that you are working for. So, what is my role as being a data analyst? To become a data analyst, it must, it's very important that you understand what your role is. So as a data analyst, data analytics involve looking into historical data to uncover the trend, the pattern, and descriptive information about an organization. And you need to be making better decisions in answering questions such as who are the customers and how best you can reach them. What is the state of the market and their competitor? What has happened in the past? And how can that inform the future growth? What is currently happening to the business? What does the future hold in terms of the business? And lastly, why are certain things then occurring within the business? Being a data analytic, you must be able to get the data in order for you to understand the model circle on how to able to make those informed decisions and see what are the way out in doing that. So that leads us to the 
four types of data analysis models that you need to understand and you must know. The role of a data analyst is to present information in a way that make it easier for a non-technical person or to make to make it easier for anyone to understand. So it is very important that you know this type of analysis. The first part of it is known as descriptive analytics, which focuses on what has happened. That is, it primarily uses to its primary focus is based on observing data to identify key characteristics of the data set and rely solely on historical data to provide report on past events. An example of that could be sales, inventories, or operation of data. The next part is known as a descriptive analytics, which focus on what could happen. That is, it uses simulation models and forecasting to suggest what could happen going forward, which could guide a realistic goal setting, such as effective planning, management of performance expectation, and avoiding risk. Example of that could be forecasting customers' behavior, purchasing pattern, and also identifying sales trend. The third part is known as prescriptive analytic, which focus on what should happen. This build on both descriptive and predictive analysis by recommending causes of action that will reap the greatest benefit to the organization. Example of that, which you are quite familiar with, is our GPS-based map and a direction application. And the final one of the type of data analysis product, <coughs> sorry, analysis is known as diagnostic analysis, which focus on why things happen. This, this uh, enhance descriptive analytic process by digging in deeper and attempting to discover the causes. The usual one that is common to many of us is our subscription cancellation to either Netflix or any organization that will, for like Netflix, anything that we do subscribe to on a monthly basis. And cost organization will want to know the reason why people are canceling their subscription. So that is known as diagnostic analytics tools as well too. So these four models are so important as a data analyst that you must understand and know where to able to apply each of these descriptive, uh, each of these analysis tools in order for you to become an effective decision maker for an organization. Another key things as a data analyst that you must have is that you need to have certain skills. With USAM, we will teach you how to use Excel to create a format workbook and analyze data to make informed business decision. We will teach you about how to use structural query language, which is a database management tools that allow data analysis to retrieve and interact with selective data stored within a relational database. And also using Tableau or Tableau for data analytics and also a visualization tools for business. These are skills that you will empower you with in order for you to become a data analyst. Also, how will potential employers find you? There's something we call a give hub. A give hub is basically designed but not only for data as a data analyst, but also for IT professional to share, to collaborate and showcase their work. Employers often search using give up to find applicants profile before scheduling an interview. Also, we have something we call a project-based portfolio, which could also be linked to websites or blog that they can use to see 
your some of your relevant information, your interests, your career ambitions. They will to see who you are as a person. They will to see some of the resources that we're teaching you to empower you to become a data analysis. You operate it onto that. So these are things that we're going to teach you to be able to share your skills and knowledge. And then potential potential employer can see some of your skills. And using Tableau to also is another also another good example that allow you to share your skills and your experience. And potential employer can see some of your uh, relevant data, your clearing and preparing of data analysis, and also visualization and presenting your data. So we will teach you this. That if you're interested on that. So if you think this short introduction videos has given you some informed decision. In, in wanting to become a data analyst in the future. Remember, I'm not talking about data science. I'm talking about data analysts. So please go to that website that you see there and make your interest known and we will contact you within the next 24 to the 48 hours. Thank you.